Okay, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to check if your pump is working. Uh, now, the, in front of us, we have a, a regular pump, and uh, when the boiler is turned on and your uh, your thermostats and your time clocks are calling for heat, you should hear the boy the pump spinning. Uh, so, on this particular instance, uh, the boiler is actually turned off, but uh, when the boiler's on, you should hear that pump uh, spinning. So if it's not spinning and you can't hear any noise, um, there's some simple checks to do um, or simple things to do to uh, get your pump working. So the first thing to do is put a piece of cloth underneath the pump and uh, before we sort of uh, remove that center screw to see if the pump's operating, uh, very often if you give the body of the pump a sharp tap, like that, uh, it's enough to free the pump off. If that doesn't work, uh, then what you need to do is remove the center screw on the pump. That's why you need a little bit of cloth underneath uh, to catch a little bit of water that will come out. And then you need a smaller slotted screwdriver like this, and you should be able to turn the impeller that's inside the pump. You can see there I can turn that freely, so I know that this pump is uh, is free and is not stuck in the off position. Okay, so when you've uh, now, if the pump is stuck, you'll need to turn that screwdriver until you get the pump uh, the the spindle to turn. Okay, so when you've done that, you then remove you replace the screw, and uh, you make sure that the washer's in place before you uh, replace the screw. your large slotted screwdriver and turn up nice and tight. Okay, so if you've uh, if you've got a pump that's not working, that's uh, two two things you can do to try and get the pump working. I've just turned the boiler on, and I think you can just now hear the pump uh, come on. Okay, that ends today's tutorial on how to uh, check the operation of a pump.